welcome back to Making Dream Landscapes, guys. <laughs> here with Dan from Marvel Paving and Construction. Three weeks on from that first episode when you started work and we're all done. All done, job's done. Payments Client happy? Been, oh, clients very happy, yeah. I mean, day to day they would pop out during the day and they'd be impressed with even just our preparation work when we were digging out and then once we actually got to do some construction work every day they'd come out and say they're happy. So before we'd finished we knew they were happy really. Yeah. Which is good. It's nice to give them that bit of confidence on day one that they're in safe hands. They actually said to me a couple of times when I was there, they've been really impressed with how clean you were working. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that the place didn't really feel like a building site. Oh, no, no, no. I, I take it, I think it, what would I want in my back garden? Do you know what I mean? We'd all want someone coming in disrespecting it, leaving mess here, there, and everywhere, leaving litter there. So I try and treat it like it's my job in my back garden. When um, the viewers sort of have last seen us, you just finished the, the chessboard, so we had that time lapse of the chessboard. Okay, yeah. Uh, since then, you've you obviously completed the surrounding bits of paving around there, and you've carried out points on the property. Yep. Um, talk us through your ideas behind pointing, what you did to this property, what your mix was like and what why you did it. I always try and go for the traditional method, sand and cement over the new stuff that's all weather brushing stuff. Just because the finish slabs com uh, complemented the house and the house had sand and cement mix so yeah we just did sand sand and cement mix just to match up directly with the brickwork yeah yeah and again just to get the strike and finish at the end and then leave it a while sweep it off and that finish should be there for as long as long as the paving and like you say it will match now flow completely from the yeah yeah i mean the before the paving looked really dated old murky and you didn't really see the house for what it was now the slabs have gone down, it's given the house like a facelift and they, they complement each other. Hello, my name's Michael. Uh, I'm the property owner at uh, Woodview. The build process has been amazingly good. It was finished on time, it was finished on budget. Uh, the workmanship was very good. The pointing was brilliant. When we started off, we, we came to Master. They recommended Dan to do the job. That was a big thing for us to have somebody recommended to do the job. So for your comp from your company's point of view, that was really good for us. And then, when he did the job, he did everything we expected and wanted. It was even tidy. I mean, we picked you because you guys were local. But when we went to the showroom, the people in the showroom were very helpful. And as I said just now, uh, recommending people to come and do the job and to get somebody like Dan to do it was really good. In retrospect, the one thing looking at it that we really do like about the mint sandstone is the fossils in it and the way that uh, Dan and his team have put the particularly nice looking fossils in the place where we can see them. How have you found it working with us on, on this job and anything you wanted to sort of highlight or 
pick apart and say, actually, guys, you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going out, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> right, the, the, the service is the same, standard, excellent service, even from the people in the office, from when the client first goes to them and chooses slabs, and then they get a recommendation right to the delivery guys. Mark will put whatever you want wherever you want it really, do you know what I mean? It will go bend this back to get it where you want and if it's slightly wrong, it'll move it a metre out of the way even if he has got to move the truck. And what about the slabs themselves then, the stone? So oh, the slabs? Stone on this job. I mean, they done well, the customer, they chose them. They'd already had them in mind when I went to visit them for the first time. So, and the slabs that come out were some of the best I've seen in like 14 years of laying slabs. So yeah, so, so many fossilised ones in there, so many different colour fairies so many rainbowy ones with like waves going up and down. It's, it was literally some of the best slabs that I've seen. So yeah, we were pulling them out of the crates like wow, because we pull them out of the crates in like A, B, C standards. So A's the flattest, the prettiest looking, and that will go somewhere where they're going to have a table and like see them, or outside a window where they will see them. And then there's B, which are sort of all right, and then there's C, that which we keep. They're the ones that have got the natural highs and lows, which they they it's natural. Pain. Even, so they're there. So we'd put them into a seed group and they'd be on a footpath or somewhere out of sight where you wouldn't see it from the main area. So yeah, when we were pulling them out, it's like, well, these are just all ace. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, wow. Uh, I think I probably know what you're going to say to this one, but a highlight of the job for you? Uh, uh, probably the chessboard. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the chessboard looks really good. It looks really good. I mean with the black limestone, it's look as far as you can get from from fossil. Gone outside with 900s linearly, lost like half bonded, so it, it makes it pop. 